hello everyone welcome in today's video today i'm going to look at uh, hydroponic fodder watering systems if you are new to this channel please remember to subscribe to my channel below for more videos and updates each and every moment i upload a new video now uh, we noted that uh, doing hydroponic fodder is very tiresome and uh, in most cases one of the things that make it very tiresome is the watering processes now remember to watch to the end since i'm going to cover three important uh, watering methods that we farmers can adapt and uh, uh, give great result as i do these watering methods are the one that will simplify the work remember the much of the work done in hydroponic fodder growing is on the watering so if you make it simpler then the work uh, uh, to be done is very simple so follow me as i walk you through uh, the processes from uh, the first method to the last and the best hydroponic watering method that we have uh, currently friends i would like you to note that watering take about 80 percent of all the work from day one to day seven so if the right watering system is used the hydroponic fodder farming is very very easy and not involving so it's a matter of choosing the right watering system the watering start immediately after planting so after planting has been done what follows immediately is uh, watering and has to continue up to the seventh day uh, seed soaking seed treatment seed incubation planting and harvesting can be done within that minutes in a day but uh, watering can't be done within that minute so remember watering is done in an interval of four to three to four hours during the day this implies that watering is done three to four times in a day so remember having a lot of trays that means you have to also uh, do a bit of watering we have three ways <coughs> of watering based on the uh, speed now remember friends that uh, watering isn't done anyhow it is carefully done to avoid the de destroying to avoid destroying seed arrangement seed are arranged in a certain way and uh, to avoid that that's why now we need special way of doing the watering so there are three ways very important ways to do the watering and water comes out as water droplets or the mist number one using the knapsack sprayer knapsack sprayer is one of the important tools a farmer will require for the sake of watering so this is the slowest of all but does a very good job so knapsack sprayer is able to water very well without destroying seed arrangements so you can see the growth how the growth is when doing knapsack uh, watering this method consume a lot of time particularly if a lot of trays need to be watered method number two is uh, using the watering can watering can uh, is better than the knapsack sprayer as you can see the watering can is able to uh, 
the watering can is able to release much water within a short time thus the watering is faster compared to that of knapsack sprayer so using watering can this one is a better method finally is the use of uh, the sprinkler system sprinkler system is the best of all so this is the best watering method that does the watering within the shortest time so remember with the sprinkler system this takes about 30 seconds to complete the water more than 50 trays it doesn't matter the number of trays you have but uh, having the the sprinkler system you are done watering in form of it waters in form of mist and the watering is normally regular so friends uh, for inquiry please contact uh, you can uh, whatsapp me direct to my number 0729 for more details thank you very much for watching for more videos please remember to subscribe to my channel below thank you very much